Welcome to Data Viz Dev Talk. I'm your host, Minhas Ghazi. Our today's guest is Mikhail Tunebar. Mikhail is the founder and CEO of Supermatrix. Supermatrix is a tool that fetches marketing data into Google Data Studio and other platforms. Mikhail, welcome to the show. Thank you. Great to be here. So, Supermatrix and Google Analytics and its developer relations team have a long history. And I've heard that there was also a t-shirt involved somewhere there. Can you tell our audience about that entire story? Sure. Several years ago, I was working at the marketing department of a gaming company. And my job there was to do reporting on our marketing activities. But a large part of my time went into copy-pasting numbers from Google Analytics and other sources into Excel. And that was really time consuming and boring. So when the Google Analytics API came out, I figured I could use that to automate that process. And I did some Googling around the issue and I found a forum post by Nick Mihailovsky, who is now Data Studio PM, saying that the first person who integrates the Google Analytics API with Excel gets a free Google t-shirt. And I figured that's perfect. I get to solve my own problem and I also get a free t-shirt. So I did a small script that solves that issue and, and I shared that with Nick and uh, Nick said that's good and, and he sent me the t-shirt. But even more importantly, he blocked about my solution and that generated a lot of interest and led me to quit my job and to, to found Supermetrics. That is amazing. <laughs> In what areas does Supermetrics help its customers and how? Right, so marketers, they struggle with their data being spread out in various different systems. So they may be doing advertising on Google, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. They have a web analytics tool such as Google Analytics. They have a CRM, various other systems where they have their data. And getting the full picture is difficult. Many marketers, they still rely on a manual process of getting this data together. So they may be doing copy pasting into Excel like I was doing. They may be downloading CSVs and manually merging those together. Or they may have hacked together some scripts that are unreliable. What we do is we automate that process for them. So we have built high quality integrations to all of these different advertising and marketing uh, tools. And we get that data together and, and put that data uh, make the data available in the tools that marketers generally want to use, such as Google Sheets, Google Data Studio, Excel, and others. How is Supermetrics relevant for your customers? You mentioned that Supermetrics is pulling in data from um, all of these different sources and um, making it available on the tools. So how are your users using that data in Data Studio? Yes, so usually when you advertise on different channels, you want to wanna see a combined view of how your campaigns are performing. So that's one, one, one thing they can do to get a cross-platform view of their campaign performance. They can also merge their advertising data with their sales data, which is also an interesting use case where they say, okay, our advertising cost this much and then we generated this much revenue based on the leads we got. And you've also made a lot of templates available uh, for Data Studio that people can use with your connectors. Yes. So. What we do when we create a connector, we also want to create a high quality template to go with that connector. So it's really easy for users to get started. So when you start using any of our connectors, there's a pre-made template that is populated with your data. So you immediately see how, how your data looks like. And based on that template, you can then start doing customizations and modifying to that to uh, fit your particular needs. If an organization wants to make their own data available to their customers for Data Studio, how can Supermetrics help them in that area? Yeah, so if there's no connector already available for that particular data source, there are some options. We have something called a custom JSON CSV XML connector. So that you can use to get data from any endpoint that provides data in one of these three formats. So JSON, CSV or XML. And our connector takes that data and processes it into the format that Data Studio expects. So it's really easy to get, get that data into Data Studio and start reporting straight away. That works in many cases, not all of cases. So if, if that doesn't work for you, the other option is to contact us and we may be able to build that connector for you. For Data Studio, we've seen a lot of users and developers who use it purely as a marketing reporting tool. But there are also other users who are using it not just as a marketing tool, but also as a completely full-fledged BI reporting solution. Yeah. So what are your views on this? Yes, so I think right now it's still largely used for marketing purposes. And a large part of the 
community connectors are also marketing related. Data Studio is a great tool and it can be used for other purposes as well. And I, I think that's an area where we are expanding to in the future very, very, very strongly. So we are soon releasing our first financial connector, getting accounting data into Data Studio. We are gonna follow up on that with various other kinds of connectors that are not marketing related, accounting, finance, HR, customer service, all kinds of different choices that uh, can be visualized in Data Studio. How should small and medium businesses approach their marketing reporting and analytics dashboards? Keep it simple to start with. It's easy to get a bit carried away with all the cool features that are available in Data Studio. You don't want to, cre want to create a cluttered uh, dashboard with all, all the different chart types. So I would concentrate on a few key metrics to start with make a really, really simple dashboard, pick metrics that the audience understands uh, and that are actionable. Two years ago, we didn't really have a big developer community around Data Studio. Uh, since then, we've launched the Community Connectors feature, we're working on community visualizations, and more and more people are getting interested in building tools and solutions around Data Studio. So what would your advice to someone who's just starting to build solutions around this tool? I think Data Studio is a great platform for developers. It's really easy to get started. Uh, the documentation is, is really good and you've done a really good job on that. Uh, and also you get a lot of support from, from your team, obviously, when you, when you build a connector. So getting started with building connectors is, is really simple and I definitely recommend that. The challenges maybe then come a bit later. Data Studio has a large user base in the millions. So if your connector really takes off, you may get a lot of users and that brings new challenges that you then need to tackle, such as uh, how do you handle the traffic uh, flows with the rate limits that are in the data source APIs that you connect to. So you don't go over, over any, any limits that are in the source APIs. You need to do a lot of caching in different places to, to tackle that. You need to have monitoring in place. You need to be able to handle all kinds of edge cases with the queries, such as what if your query takes over a minute to run when the timeout for HTTP requests is one minute. So all kinds of things like this you need to then start thinking about. But to get started, it's really easy. Mikhail, thanks again for being on the show. Thanks, it was great being here. You can check out the Supermatrix connectors in the Data Studio Gallery. Link is in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to the GCP YouTube channel, and you can always visit our website at developers.google.com slash data studio. Until next time, keep building more biz.